Welcome again to this edition of the First Aid Show. In this edition we're going to look at chest wounds and the different types of chest wound. Now a closed chest injury can inherently be very serious as the chest houses many crucial organs such as the heart, lungs and many blood vessels. A closed chest injury could be somewhere like when someone's in a car accident and they've hit their chest hard on the steering wheel. Most chest trauma injuries will need urgent medical attention. Always call for an ambulance for any serious chest injury. Rib injuries are a common result of trauma to the chest. Damage to the rib cage itself. The curved shape of the ribs themselves deflect force away, but they still will damage to the cartilage and the ribs themselves. If a single rib is broken, it can be very painful, and a number of broken ribs can result in other complications. A victim with broken ribs may take very shallow breaths because they're trying to avoid the pain, so you need to monitor their breathing the whole time. When many adjoining ribs are broken in different places, a proportion of the rib cage itself can become floating, which is known as flail chest. With this, it would be very, very painful. Signs and symptoms are trouble breathing, shallow breathing, tenderness at the site, deformity, bruising of the chest, pain upon movement, deep breathing or coughing, blue lips or nail beds. They may also cough up blood and sometimes you feel a crackling on the victim's skin when you touch it. The treatment is always monitor the patient's ABCs. Call for help, assist the patient into a comfortable position, which is typically uh, seated upright. Conduct a secondary survey just to keep an eye on what's going on and be vigilant. Watch out for any possible changes. Open chest wounds or a sucking chest wound is where the chest has been penetrated by something like a knife or a bullet or falling onto a sharp object. With an open wound on the chest, you may hear air escaping through the wound. They will have trouble breathing and they'll be in pain. You may also see blood in their mouth or they may cough up blood. The treatment for an open or a sucking chest wound is to first assess the patient's ABCs. Do not remove the object that's embedded into the chest. Call for an ambulance, lay them down on their affected side just to prevent any problems within their good lung. We need to monitor them the whole time. If you do have to cover the wound, do, and you don't have a special dressing, you need to find some kind of plastic. This could be something like a credit card or a plastic bag. Take the plastic over the wound and leave the fourth side open, allowing blood to drain out and air to escape. The opening should always be at the bottom, and this will be de determined by where the patient is laying. So if they're laying on their side, it may well be on their side, wherever's nearest to the ground. As the patient inhales in, this will allow them to breathe, but when they breathe out, then the, uh, the, the seal will actually close onto the body. To summarize, these are very serious conditions. Any injury to the chest, you don't quite know what's been damaged. It may be just something onto the lungs, but there might be also other complications. So always seek urgent medical um, assistance.